Hey, what's going on uh, YouTube? Uh, Erman Hardy here again, and um, I've been getting a lot of positive uh, feedback from the boot camp video I put up. Um, it was like, okay, well, what's something else that I can you know, give the viewers? And uh, I was thinking about it. Um, I already see when I was in Great Lakes, he said, you know, the three things for a junior sailor to succeed is uh, him, him or her. Um, Showing, work up, showing to work on time, looking good in their uniform, and doing what they're told. I mean, if you do those three things, you'll succeed. And I found this to be true. I mean, I've been in for about a year, and uh, lo and behold, things have you know really gone well. Um, so just talk about a few topics. First one is showing up on time. Uh, you would be amazed at uh, how many sailors don't do it. I mean, they'll show up five, ten minutes late. You know. Uh, a saying you'll hear a lot is uh, if you're not on time, excuse me, if you're on time, you're late. And it, it's true because let's say uh, every morning I muster up at 7 o'clock. Well, if I were to get there at 7 o'clock, we're already, you know, taking attendance. We call it mustering. But we're, we're already, you know, doing that at 7. You know, if I'm showing up 701, 702, they're done, you know. So uh, it, it really makes sense, you know, once you get out to the fleet. You know, so if you show up at 7. You don't have to be there 15 minutes early, but you know, be there 10, maybe that's low as 5 minutes early, you know, you never know what's going on. Things can change or, you know, happen. So, um, being on time is, is big, it's really important. I mean, you have to think, if you ask someone to pick you up at 6.30, they're there at 7, kind of throws off all your plans. So, just show a uh, common courtesy. You know, the center side. Uh, the next thing is uh, doing what you're told. First off, you know the Navy is the easiest choice you'll probably, excuse me, the easiest job that you probably ever have or will have. Um, it's no, it's no reason why you know doing what you what you're told should be a problem. But with a lot of junior sailors, there, there, it is a problem. You know, uh, for instance. You know, one of the first class, second class, maybe even third classes, they'll say, hey, sweep this P-way or this hallway all day. That's all I want you to do. And you're like, oh, I don't get paid to do it, or it's already clean. Why should I have to do it? Or they're not doing it, anything. Why should I have to do anything? You know, when when time comes, you're like, oh, all he does is bitch and moan. Just do it. I mean, it's not hard. You know, throwing your headphone, a headphone, or throw them in, listen to music, and you're sweeping. I mean, it's really not hard. You're getting paid regardless. Uh, I just do what you're told. It's really not a big problem. Um, last thing is um, looking good in your uniform. In your uniform man. This, this is a big problem with junior sailors. They, they, they don't have pride in the uniform. One, you pay one set of NWUs is about $100. A little bit over 100 Hundred five to hundred ten dollars. This is one set. You have four of them. It's four hundred dollars. You have two sets of um, NSUs. You probably don't wear, won't wear them, um, unless you're in A school. That's that's another I think like hundred bucks, hundred hundred fifty dollars. Um, then you have your uh, dress blues, which is another hundred dollars. You have two pairs of dress whites. That's two hundred dollars. That's a lot of money on uniforms for you not to take care of them. You know. And, um, you know, just, it's really not hard. Just, you know, every now and then take them to the cleaner. Uh, make sure they stay clean, you know. Uh, th you know, wash them. You would be, you'd be amazed. Uh, you know, just, just make sure that, and, and another thing, when you go to work, uh, just, you know, make sure you square it away. You know, your uniform is nice. It's not wrinkled and fucked up. Uh, you have all your... Patches and pins, uh, if, you, if it calls for pins. Um, what else? You know, just making sure all your pockets are, you know, nice and flat down. They don't have to, I mean, if the instruction says button them, no one's going to check your buttons. Um, but, you know, make sure it's, you know, ready to go. Um, and boots are the biggest one. Regulation says black in them. Uh, they don't have to be shine. But, I would recommend that, you know, Take the extra initiative every now and then and shine your boots. Granted, either and below, you work your asses off. We work our asses off, you know. And uh, they're, they're going to get scuffed. They're going to get fucked up at the end of the day. But, you know, 
they they hold that consistency of blackness a little bit longer. Me personally, I shine my uh, boots three four times a week, and when I go to work, people are like, "Party, why the hell do you shine your boots?" And you know they're gonna get fucked up at the end of the day. I'm like, well, you gotta look at it this way. Um, granted, I'm not noticed every day. But when I am noticed with my, you know, shiny boots, they're like, okay, well, this guy, he doesn't just do what he has to do. He goes over and beyond and does a little bit more. He doesn't, you know, it's, it's just initiative. And he shows initiative, you know, he shows qualities um, of leading by example, you know. Granted, I don't really care. I just like shiny boots. Like, that's what they see because you'll learn in the military or in the Navy that uh, perception is reality. Um, I mean, really, and, you know, if you do those three things, they're going to say, you know, this guy shows up on time, he does everything, I ask him to, he doesn't bitch and moan, he goes ahead and do it, I don't have problems asking him, his uniform is always squared away, I mean, this guy's a squared away sailor, um, you're going to find a lot of people in the Navy, they're like, I fucking hate the Navy, fuck my life, when actually, it's, you know, FMC, it's fuck my choice, because no one told them that they had to join the Navy. It's like, well, I had bills and I had this and I had that. And it was like, oh, did we put a gun to your head? Or did they put a gun to your head? You know? It's like, well, I would have been homeless, but you could have, you could have done something else. It's fuck my choice, really. You know, so, I, that's all I really have to say. You know, take that extra in initiative. Make sure you're good to go. Um, ABC, always be checking. You know, uh, check your uniform before you go into work. You know, just make sure you're squared away. Um, that's really all I have. If you have any uh, questions, boot camp, A school, I don't even know about Pensacola. Um, or, you know, complete questions, uh, go ahead and send me a message or uh, email me or whatever it takes. Um, Herman Hardy here, here to help you. Have a good one.